Good morning YouTube, David here. And if you're someone who struggles to build muscle and gain weight, then listen up. In this video, I'm gonna give you an awesome and quick recipe for a weight gainer shake that's packed with high quality protein, healthy fats, and good carbs that I drink every day to make sure that I'm gaining weight. Let's do it. All right, so I wanna start off by showing you where I'm at right now. This is what I look like first thing in the morning right now. No flexing going on. Let's see how much I weigh. So as you can see, I'm weighing in at 171 right now. Ideally, I'd like to bulk up to 180 by April. So that's about 10 pounds in four or five months. And the reason for that is because you can only really, at most, build a half a pound of muscle per week and if you gain weight faster than that, then you're just gonna put on fat. So that's about two pounds per month. Anyway, before I show you the actual shake, I want to stress the point that one weight gainer shake per day is not magically gonna allow you to gain weight. If you're someone like me who struggles to gain weight, you need to make sure that you're eating enough total calories every single day if you wanna gain weight. It doesn't matter if those calories come from a weight gainer shake or from a regular meal. The good thing about a weight gainer shake is that it just makes it way more convenient. You know, personally I know that I need to eat a big breakfast and a big dinner and then I use the weight gainer shake as a meal replacement for lunch because I'm really busy in the middle of the day and that's what works for me. That's what allows me to get in the 3200 calories give or take that I personally need to gain a little bit of weight. And to really drive this point home, I'm going to show you right now an example of a, you know, a large calorie packed breakfast that I eat every single day. Breakfast was delicious. I make bacon and eggs every single day. I call it bags. And that combined with the, the English muffin, sometimes I do a bagel, and the orange juice, sometimes I do chocolate milk, it comes out to a thousand calories. And the shake I'm about to show you is about 800 calories. And then throughout the day, I usually have a Gatorade or a coffee that puts me right around 2,000 total calories for the day. So every day for dinner, I try and hit about 1,200 calories to bring me to that 3,200 calorie total that I personally need to gain weight. Anyway, I know you're probably watching this video because you want to see the actual shake, so I'm going to give you the shake. But first, I got to drive back to my apartment in downtown Boston. I spent the night at my parents' place because it's the holiday season and my dad's out of town, so I was trying to keep my mom some company. Let's head back and make the shake. Let's make the shake. Boston, got a fresh haircut, and had a couple phone calls I had to take care of. But now I'm starting to get hungry. It's time to make the shake. All right, so I got all my ingredients lined up here. And in my opinion, when you're making your shake, there's four main ingredients that you like absolutely have to include if you want to make sure that you're actually going to get a significant amount of calories and protein. And that would be first milk as the base. Now I use coconut milk just because I'm lactose intolerant, but that would be number one. Number two would be peanut butter, and I usually just get a natural creamy or a natural chunky peanut butter, and that's gonna pack a lot of calories and healthy fats. And after that, oats. I think you absolutely need oats just to get a, a carb source in there, because without the oats, the only carbs you're really gonna have are like a few carbs from the milk and a few carbs from the peanut butter, so this is a way to pack extra calories and carbs in there. Then obviously you're gonna need the protein powder. And I prefer this brand, Dimatize ISO 100, because it does not have lactose. So for me, that's why I get it. 
but I think a regular whey protein is cheaper and it's, it's alright for most guys. You can see I have the Cinnabon flavor. It's mad good. And after those four ingredients, there's a few other ingredients that I would say are, are optional. Creatine will be the first one. Now, you don't need to have creatine at any particular time of day, but I like to put it in my shake because you want to have five grams of creatine a day if you're using it. That's the proven amount that's going to help you gain strength and build muscle. And it's just a convenient time to put it in your shake, you know. Aside from that, frozen fruit, it's not really going to add many calories to your shake, but it makes it taste better and it's going to help you get some vitamins and some fiber in the shake. So it's going to make it a little bit healthier too. And it's also going to add some extra calories, not a whole lot, but some. And they have different blends. This is a strawberry banana blend. I also have like a mixed berry blend in the freezer that I use sometimes. But if you go to the frozen section at your grocery store, they should have several different blends. And it's also like way cheaper than buying fresh fruit. And the final sort of optional ingredient that you can put in is just some good old extra virgin olive oil. And I don't put this in because I don't need this many extra calories, but it's gonna give you a lot of extra calories and some extra healthy fats. And of course, the one last thing that you need when you make your shake is you're gonna need a blender and I just got this blender, the, uh, the Ninja. I'll link it on Amazon. I just got it at Target the other day, but it's actually cheaper on Amazon, and it crushes. As you can see, it has total crushing technology, and it totally crushes it. The technology works. Um, it's super easy to clean. It's super convenient. It's super powerful. It chops it up in like a second. I used to have a like, $10 blender from Amazon, and I'd have to like keep running it, and then once I drank the shake, it wouldn't even be fully blended up. So I definitely recommend investing that. That was like 60 or 70 bucks. Two thumbs up though. All right, so let's make this damn thing. Hashtag make the shake. I'm about to cut to an edit where I'm gonna show you how much of each ingredient I use when I'm making the shake. Let's do it. This is fucking amazing. No lie, might be my favorite meal of the day. Actually, lie, bacon and eggs, hashtag begs, is still my favorite meal of the day. But this has been the key for me to start gaining weight again. You know, it makes fitting three big meals, at least in terms of calories, into my day a lot easier. You know, I've always been able to have a big breakfast and a big dinner, but I've never really been able to find the time or just have the appetite to also have a big enough lunch to gain weight. So by putting this, you know, 800, 900 calorie shake in the middle of my day, it just gets me to that total number of calories that I need. And that's why I swear by this thing. And that's why I'm making this video to hopefully get some of you other hard gainers out there a solution to your weight gain problems. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I'm going to finish drinking the shake, get back to work, and then later today, I'm heading down to get a workout in with an old high school buddy of mine. We played football, basketball together. And it's funny because he's a vegan now. So we have these, like we call them, the bacon versus vegan muscles, the bacon versus vegan workouts. Anyway, that's all for the video. If you enjoyed the video and you like my channel, make sure you hit subscribe because I release two new videos every single week. And this way you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. And if you enjoyed the video, Give it a thumbs up if you can, because that helps spread the love. It helps spread the channel to as many guys as possible. And that's what I'm trying to do here, man. Anyway, take care. Stay beastly. Talk to you in the next video.